not break. Out here on Frenchman Street, a street known for its live music scene, and tonight it's anything but. It is quiet, too quiet. So how are businesses surviving? We have a lot of books about politics, revolution, change, how to deal with uh, this book, I have to tell you. David Zalkind is the owner of Frenchman Art and Books, something he calls an accidental bookstore among the music venues that reign on Frenchman Street. And his business has taken a hit from the pandemic, losing more than half of business he'd normally see on this street. But each month gets a little bit better. It's, you asked me earlier, is this sustainable? No. You know, it's, uh, I'm working through loans and, and uh, you know, believing that it's going to get better. For Royal Sushi and Bar, just a block off Frenchman Street, owner Michael Chen singing a similar song. Basically, a night just like that is very quiet. Usually, it's packed with people walking around. Right now, we just make it, make it minimum. And, but we do have a lot of locals support us and then doing takeout. Both businesses who rely on the foot traffic Frenchman usually brings during normal times are now seeing more locals exploring the neighborhood. I mean, we can, if we can have that virus under control and everybody back to the normal stuff. People are, you know, breaking through, they're finding ways to make it happen. Um, so it's very quiet uh, during the week, Monday through Thursday. It's just, you know, ghost town. A ghost town of businesses just finding ways to adapt and support one another. Where everybody's digging deep into their pockets just to keep it going and hope that it's going to get better. For now, they'll try to keep the doors open and wait for the music to help bring back the business. And when it comes to supporting the arts, the businesses are getting creative by bringing singers and other musicians to the balconies and having folks put out their lawn chairs here on the street to enjoy the music. For now, reporting Olivia Vidal, Fox 8, Local First. With New Orleans canceling Mardi Gras parades, businesses that make